good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time and location you are listening to us thanks a lot for the visit madame temitope has come out to speak please listen to this to the end the secret and everything that has been going on listen to this to the end see you on the other side Bye. good afternoon to all the people in the grant colony grant community and grant ecosystem good afternoon to everybody male and female that have one way or the other subscribe to any grant in nigeria today being the 15th day of august 2024 i just have to come out and update us and also let you know what is our next line of action i am temitokpe eluyemi balogun we give glory to god almighty that we were able to silence these people that they could not come out like before to send people to their hellly grave by collecting their hand and money without any remorse they talk to people anyhow in the past through their telegram platform meetings and thereby those notable people those people learned people that become toddler in their hands got depressed some took their lives some were hospitalized some died and some are heavily indebted but we give glory to god that today at least 80 percent of so-called people that used to run at a scatter whenever they requested for fund they have now understood that they need to wise up for the remaining people that are still gullible because that is the name they call us wherever we go in the government places so the remaining people that are still gullible that refuse to wake up that refuse to learn i just want you to know that the gullibility that make you to get yourself a further payment of any kind of money now is not caused by any other thing but because of your greediness if you are not greedy you have been in a business for how many years nothing has come out of it but because you did not want to miss out as we have used to be saying you are still paying this afternoon i have made up my mind i will not say anything until we get the final result but i am of the opinion that i just have to come out today because what is happening right now we want to put mathematics together and believe that what the UAAG representatives told us categorically had the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights then is not is true. We want to believe in one area of it that probably they might be working with the federal government of this country. If they are not working with the federal government of this country, then we need to come out again and ask questions. I came across Pastor Obin Wagbo first notes and I look at myself because the word pastor, the meaning of pastor in Nigeria, 90% of the pastors, the, the reverend, the bishop, the, the, the archbishops, the evangelists in Nigeria, the dictionary meaning, the spiritual meaning of the word called is mentioned are totally different from what we have in the grant community if not the like of pastor obin wagbo will not come out and still boldly be asking tactically be asking people to pay for intervention for logistic the same way they started with uaag's coming you came out and tell them you have a program you are test running for the past two years pastor obey Unwagbu. i did not want to mention some of your name because i know once 
Apostle Dr. Ken Uwakama comes out, then all of you are coming because we know you to be the representatives, one of the chairman, the leader of the management of UAAG. And we, because we have business with your principal, and that is why all what you people are doing in the past for the past two months plot i decided not to say anything but now i just have to let you know that you do not have a shame you don't have shame and i want to know that the holy spirit that they taught us in the bible that will come and descend on the christian he, the one acting in the grand community are totally different. Pastor Obin Wagbo, well, this program you are now asking them to come and join again. You have it, you have been test running it, you have been enjoying it for the past two years when you ask them to be paying huge amount of money to your accounts for UAAG. Yet, you cannot ask them to pay the, that, the, 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 the logistic of money that is just peanuts to them then. You cannot ask them, you cannot introduce it to them along with your scamming activities. You can't do that. But today you came out again to, 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 be, to, be, to be twisting your wells. Are you even not ashamed of yourself? We are your congregation, Pastor Obi Wagbo. We state are your congregations. Let us visit your church. Let's see the type of the, the, the type of congregation, the type of members you have in your church. Because if it is very convenient for you to sit down at the top rank hotel for months, what are you teaching them? How many souls? did you bring back to jesus christ during your stay in top rank hotel how many souls you are not ashamed of yourself and you are now making us to believe that you are working with the federal government truly uaag management you are making us to believe that you are working with the federal government and you as you people have found that there is nothing we can do i want to put it to you today that we are going to expose this nonsense you people are doing we are going to expose you people all of you the like of all the grand handlers you they started coming out one after the other again especially this month of august hello this month during the protest we saw all your activities, all the grand handlers, with the jubilation of the disbursement up and down. Today is Thursday. We, none of these people have come out to receive any alerts. And tactically, Pastor Obin Wago of UAG, since you see that the, the other grand handlers, they succeeded in collecting another huge amount of money from the gullibles, from the gullible CEOs, since you see they succeeded, you two, you you tactically came out again, and you want to you want to help them, and you are now talking of, of UAAG, of which you know, you and your principal have not tell us what happened to the money, what happened to the disbursement of UAAG that we have been expecting since November 2023. What happened to it? You are coming out to bring another intervention fund. Intervention fund from who again? Is it this the same Federal Republic of Nigeria president that promised you intervention fund? Because of what you have you, you have achieved in Grant Community, Pastor Obi Wagbu, you are not ashamed of yourself. You are not ashamed of yourself. I thought you have learned, you have kept silence just like your principal kept silence. And you are waiting for the report. Which achievement have you achieved because you kept silence? Can you please come out and tell us the achievement you people achieved in UAAG? The UAAG that we have gone through all through these government agencies, none of it has happened. We have never seen a particular document that is related to UAAG in any government ministry. 
and you say you have achieved your silence has make you achieve your silence has make you achieve to scam and to scam the set of the ceo who have never learned their lessons and i'm not even ashamed of them i don't care of them again because i can see that the money they are using is not coming from their paws they see have the bundle orders that they put in captivity that they are harassing they are intimidating to collect money from them if not you cannot even ask them to give you a recharge card of 500 naira, and they will give you are you not ashamed of yourself if they are not ashamed of themselves you yeah that you 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 attach pastor to your own name are you not ashamed of yourself this is what barista falana was saying that church supposed to be paying taxes because it's a business center you are one of the reasons why they said so and truly church has been seen now as a business center this will make us to come out i want to talk to the grant community today 15th of august 2024 that since the uaag representative came out boldly at the committee for the defense of human rights and they said their money their document is with the federal government precisely the president Tinubu. and we are waiting to be sure either true or for the document and sixth day but with what we are seeing now i am not afraid of anything I need to come out from my hiding. I'm tired of sleeping from one place to the other. We want to start asking the federal government questions because we do not expect them to let this thing linger. We do not expect them to extend this particular program. The report supposed to have come out. They have to have replied the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights. If truly they are not part of these scamming activities, if there is nothing they are gaining from these people if this uaag management are not working for the federal government then they are supposed to have come out openly to let us know truly that they have no hand in it or yes or yes the the, the the document is with them how many days will it take them or because they thought we are crying when we are seeking for assistance from them then they thought that they they, they have captured us i am i'm not afraid of death i'm not afraid of any one of them let the grant community know today that this month of august 2024 will not go without we knowing the truth about uaag this month will not go and that is why i want to put on hold every other activities of the remaining grant handlers we will not call them again for now the pro the, the protests of the the protests that happened this month have made us to suspend most of it since their names have been submitted already to efcc we will need to find out the, re the final report of the uaag that is what will be my my plan from this moment we will need to find out the report, the final report of the UAAG grants of Apostle Dr. K. Unwakama. Then we will now proceed from there to all other grant handlers. So I'm calling all the grant community. Stop paying your money to these people. None of them should be given attention to. Let them disburse the one they have done. At least about three of them are ready now. What is still delaying them? Why are they not paying? What is still delaying them? What is still delaying the grants that they promise they want to give to the, to, to the CEO that have assembled in Abuja since how many days now? Jubilating here and there. Jubilating here and there. I can see CEOs, a grown-up CEO, an adult, this the, the the chief executive officer of a, an organization dancing under the tree without any result i'm ashamed of every one of you you have thought you silence me 
because I decided to just keep quiet, to wait a little and let the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights bring out their report. But this report is lingering. We don't know why. These people are walking, they are waiting for the report. Not that they are coward. But I want to come out this afternoon to let the whole community, the Grand Committee, need to know that henceforth our aim and objectives, our proceed now, will be focused only on UAAG because of the like of Pastor Obi Nwagbo, who is the think tank a chairman who can confidently come out without any remorse, without shame, to even be to, to be introducing people to another uh, another set of uh, intervention fund or cryptocurrency. We need to ask the federal government what is the relationship with them and UAAG. That is our next action. The federal government should tell us the relationship between them and UAAG. So every one of you get ready. We will start from this moment. We need to know the relationship, the act, the relationship, the, the percentage. The federal government is sharing with the the, the the management of UAAG. They have made us, they have collected our money. We have not seen any way. We are the, the paper a photocopy you see in the name of UAAG or of Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama. Yet, they have not done anything to bring him to book. What happened to the, to the letter they approved that the chairman of EFCC approved on our behalf? We are calling them, we are crying to them because this is a national issue. And this thing demands immediate action. But instead of them to do that, they, they, they said they are working. What are they working? We, need, we want to start asking, asking questions. We want to start asking them which work. We, what is the level of their work right now for the like of Pastor Obi Wago to come out before you know it? The like of Jennifer Isaac will come out again and start a cryptocurrency scamming. Do you think because I keep quiet, I did not see anything? I am just playing prank on most of these grand handlers because if you go straight to the point. They will not know the they will not allow us to get the truth. The truth I needed to get from Epi Charity Foundation. I've gotten it already. But I'm waiting for the time I'm coming to, to release my voice notes concerning them. Please stop paying money to any one of them. I decided to play full so that the truth can come out. The truth is out and it's in my hand already. But right now. I would have loved that my voice note will be on Epic Charity Foundation and Power of Five. But right now, we put on hold all the things we have seen concerning those two. We want to focus back on UAAG. Let the lion come out and let the other grand handlers know that we are not playing with them. My people in the grand community, I will not say don't pay money to Obi Wagbo. I will not say that. If you like, continue your payment. But I'm, at, I'm directing it to you now that our next action is for us to ask the federal government what is the relationship between the federal government of Nigeria and the UAAG management. We need to know. We need to know why after all our letter has been approved, up till now there is no report back from all the places they mention, they mention IG, they mention president, they mention staff, they mention uh, the Fred, they, they mention uh, AIG, they mention different people in the government that their money is, that their document is in the presidency, and we keep on waiting for them. It is glaring now that we need to come out. So if the federal government will not give us reports about UAAG documents, then let my people get ready. Let, my, let the grant community get ready. We will come out in mass and demand to do a peaceful protest, to demand for the documents and everything the federal government knows about UAAG grants in Nigeria.
We are not afraid of anything that will not happen. They should know that this is how this woman's protest started. We have been calming our people down, not to say anything, not to come out for any protest. But right now, from this 15th of this month, if they will not give us updates, if they will not come out, if the federal government will not come out and tell us the truth about UAAG, then we will go to the streets and demand for the truth. Let the world know that the federal government of this Nigeria is using UAAG management to scam its own people. That is the way we will put it. I've been sleeping here and there, going from one village to the to the other to hide myself because of this UAAG matter. Because they were looking for me, they want to kill me. And yet the federal government are telling us that they are working. They are working. You see, when I die, they will now come out to, the, to, to, to say the truth. Let my people get ready. Let them get ready. We are tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting for them to bring. What, how many days will it take the federal government to tell us our people are dying? People are dying on a daily basis. And now they are coming out again to demand for another money. Logistic money for intervention fund. Somebody that wants to give us billions of naira. Now want to give us money, a intervention fund again, and they are asking for logistic. Nigerian government should come out and tell us the truth about UAAG. If they are not the one using them against us. I'm telling me talk It's pain me through to the marrow today that I can see the like of this man coming out again to be saying all this thing from his mouth. Had they not ashamed? Can't he come out and tell the to, to come to the CDHR to defend the UAAG and to tell us where they are? It is every time the idea, the idea, which kind of Oluwa that is informed in UAAG? What type of Oluwa that is informed? And they, if, if truly Oluwa is informed and you are there already, the money is there already, why are you asking for logistics again? The federal government will come out and tell us the truth. And that is the, the truth I'm, I want to tell the grant community today because we keep silent. We are we are gently waiting for the report does not mean we are afraid. Grant community CEO Bondues and the prospective beneficiary, please get ready. If they don't want to give us the report, we'll go to the street and demand for the report. The world is waiting for them. We want to, the world want to hear the truth about UAAG because this involves a lot of millions of Nigerians. And if our life is, is nothing before them, we will, let, we will not allow them to kill us before the truth comes out. God bless you. I'm Temito Pehelu Yemi Balogun. Please send this note, first note out. Let it reach them again at the villa. Because I know that most of what is happening, the ESCC chairman may not even know that they have not taken action on the paper we submit, the, the petition we submitted and endorsed. He might not even notice today that they have not done anything about it. And the federal government president may not even know that they have not given the, the CDHRE report. That they, 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 they are still, the, 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 the file is still under waiting. Waiting for what? Let our people get ready. We, we stand the street and demand for it if they are not ready. We will never allow them to do it sluggishly. This time around because... These people are already collecting another round of money and they will tell people that if they did not part of it, they will remove them. Then people will start going up and down again to borrow money. Enough of all this. We need to know the difference between the Federal Republic of Nigeria and UAAG. We want to know whether they are together scamming us, they are together promising us grants that we never see. God bless you all. I'm expect from me very soon. Thank you all.